Pepperosi back with part two as promised. I figured I'd plug in my, my Blues Deluxe as I do the second half of this demo in my basement for the little, the little fatty. This is the little fatty all plugged in and ready to go. The cool thing about also, uh, now I'm doing the, the transformer because uh, I'm using low impedance. The last video I did, it was strictly high impedance. The cool thing about having the little fatty for me is now I don't have to place it on the amp uh, because when I have the transformer plugged straight into the amp, I get a lot of buzz uh, just from the transformer being next to the amp. So now we're having the pedal, I can put it you know, on the floor and I've got a quarter inch into one end and my quarter inch with the transformer into this end. Straight up and down. And I've already got the Blues, the Blues Deluxe isn't that sensitive it's a little older than the than the new Blues Junior 4. And I've got the the treble on two, and I got the bass cranked all the way up to about eight, like they like they said to do. I got middle and presence at about four, number four. And there's no master, uh, I don't believe there's a master volume on this, so I have the channel up to about five, and I'm sitting right here. I'm using a Greg Human uh, Blows Me Away uh, SM58 with a volume control. Because a lot of times I'll, I'll use this kind of a setup because I'm uh, switching back and forth between blues and rock songs to jazz, chromatic, or whatever. <clears throat> so this is the other rig I wanted to show you guys. Not just the high impedance, you know, a dirtier sound. Um, so here we go. I'm going to put this on my lap here just in case I have to get to it. I'm cranked up almost almost to 10 here. I gotta turn it down because it's killing me. So it's a little muddy, a little bassy. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna roll off into some highs. Roll off some of the bass and mids and I'm going to my left. You're right, right? And as I do that, now I don't have that little rumble at the bottom. I got plenty of bass. I can maybe just go back up a little bit, get a little more bass. I got the reverb off so we can hear what it's doing. Now let me do this. I'll turn the volume off here, and uh, let me plug in my Audix. Now the Audix Fireball, again, not a bullet mic. It's a cleaner sounding mic. It's a great mic, and <clears throat> when I helped Audix design this, um, we came up with uh, like a very happy in between, somewhere in the middle. And I'll tell you, and it also it doesn't feed back much at all. It's a great mic to keep in your kit if you're if you're out playing and you're going straight into a PA uh, or things like that, you have, uh, it's a very nice volume control on it as well, and it doesn't feed back much. I'll use it sometimes, pardon me, getting up here with this Joyo uh, pedal, Joyo American, which is an amp simulator. So if I'm going out sometimes without an amp, I know some of you have, uh, like, I think there's a Lone Wolf Harp Attack or something, which I heard is really good. I haven't tried one of them yet. But they make some really good stuff. But this Joyo is an amp simulator. I use it a lot of times for my recordings down here in the basement if I don't want to set up an amp and I'm sending somebody some dirtier, like, bluesy tracks. This is great. But if you bring it out to a live gig, quarter inch, out to the PA, and one into your mic. But I'm getting off track here. That's not why I'm here to show you. Uh, I'm here to show you the, the little fatty. So I'm plugging in my little fatty with my Audix microphone through the Fender Blues Deluxe. I got it straight up and down. Which I'm gonna do is give it a little bit of trouble off to the off to the left there. And see what happens. Audix Fireball V, got the volume cranked. Pretty hot. Almost to 10. This mic's a little bassier, so I'm gonna really roll off a little bit to get some of that low end boom out of there. I'm going off. And that is where I want this particular mic to be. Each mic 
it's going to require a little different setting. <laughs> Look at me, and I got the mic right here, and it's not feeding back. It's just starting. I mean, I'm I'm really close. I'm about two feet from this amp, so I can walk over there and turn it up another two notches. This is something you can't do without this pedal. Um, I guess you could do it if you had the right kind of. Maybe you could do it somewhat if you had the tube swapped out properly. But still, this is going to control it much better. A little fatty at, from Memphis Blues Amps. Pick one up, keep it in your case. If you're going out to do live gigs where they're providing amps for you, you're going to a blues jam where there's an extra guitar amp, or you just want to play your amp stocked and you don't want to do tube swaps like I do. Um, a little fatty. All right, sorry. I'm going to keep this one shorter um, because I made the other one so long. So this is the low impedance mic with the transformer end going through here. And again... Uh, the last one I did was with the high impedance mic. You can check that out. Memphis Blues Amps, little fatty pedal, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.